Hi, my name is Pastor Moses Borjas. I am with Por La Creación, and I'm a pastor here in El Paso, Texas. One of the things that we promote here in our city is to go outside and to explore, you know, outdoor recreation, being able to explore these beautiful mountains we have. Um, one of the fun facts about El Paso is we are 80% Latino here, Hispanics in El Paso. And uh, one of the fun things is working with Latinos, Hispanics here in our city has really given us the opportunity to hear their hearts, hear their stories. And that's the beautiful part about working with Latinos here in our city of El Paso. So a couple of years ago, a friend of mine moved uh, from San Antonio to El Paso. Unfortunately, you know, he came in in October. By April, uh, he had to leave our city um, at a point where physically he was not able to uh, work anymore. And his doctor said, have you made any changes recently? And he says, yes, I moved from San Antonio to El Paso. And he says, well, I'm going to tell you something. The quality of air in El Paso is hurting your body. The, the particles that are in your body are producing microclots. And we're just worried that if you stay in El Paso, you know, there's a possibility that you will not see uh, or, or be able to come to the end of the year with life. That's scary. That's something to think about. And, you know, a person that came with great ideas, with great uh, intentions and objectives and purposes to help our city. You know, unfortunately, maybe a lot of other people have had to leave our city because of that. You know, I know that it's it's not easy to be in a city where the quality of air, maybe it's not 100% right, or, you know, we're probably one of the cities that is most impacted by it in our country. But it's these stories that make me realize and say, how many more like him uh, that come to help our city, to make our, even our Latino community stronger. They're leaving our communities, Latino communities, because of the fact that it's impacting their bodies, their health. Not only that, but to some others, it's impacting even their mental health. So we're asking President Biden and EPA to um, apply maybe stricter restrictions on air pollution. We want President Joe Biden and EPA for these restrictions to apply in a way that we could all say, you know what, we feel that they're, they're working towards helping our communities, they're helping our society uh, to bring clearness of some of these regulations and how they're being applied to some of these mega companies, especially here in the state of Texas. We want to be able to know that the effort is there. We want to be able to know that you're fighting for our Latino community. We want to know that something's being done, not something that they're saying, yeah, we hear you, and the same situation keeps revolving and revolving. We want President Biden and EPA for you to have a voice and say, We're, we are working with you, we are going strong, and that's one of the things that we guarantee that we're gonna do.